first of all thanks for being here in my youtube channel so in this video we are going to learn introduction about the topic time and distance so time and distance is one of the most important topic in aptitude and everyone knows it and also it is most important for all the competitive exam at least you can see this time and distance for one mark and if you are preparing for SBA exams or otherwise a uh, cat level exams you can definitely see five marks in data interpretation so it is one of the most important topic if you want to solve all the toughest question first you need to be strong on the basics so be strong on the basics not 99 percentage be 100 percent strong on the basics then solve some of the easy level question then solve medium level question then after that solve the toughest level question so that you can easily learn the topic time and distance so initially this time and distance topic is categorized into three different sections right one is a basic question that is based on cars you might see the question like two cars traveling in the same direction or car one car two travels proceed towards each other so questions that is based on car or otherwise a cycle or a man running so these are the question comes under the basic concept called time and distance and the second category is problems on train so problems on train is most important and inside this category you can able to see a question like two trains crossing or otherwise train one train to proceed towards each other or otherwise a train crosses a platform or train crosses a tunnel or otherwise two train running in a parallel direction the question that is completely based on upon trains so this question comes under this category called problems on train and the last is boats and steam so boats and steams is completely different when compared to these two topics these two topics where 90 percentage concepts are same but when you compare boats and steams with all other topics it's completely different boats and steams is completely different so this category questions is based on uh, upstream or otherwise downstream towards the stream it completely based on boats water still water so it's completely different right and remember that learn this basic question first of all then concentrate on trains after that concentrate on boats and streams initially if you learn boats and streams and then comes to problems on train you will feel difficult so better if, if you have only less number of days for your exam concentrate only on these two things right you don't want to concentrate boats and streams initially concentrate on this time and distance and also problems on train after getting strong on these two topics then move on to the the topic boats and streams right and if you want to solve the question that is based on time and distance first you need to learn the formula right the basic formulas and also you should know the concept about speed you if you want to convert kilometer hour to meter per second and also you need to learn some of the concepts on distance time etc so let me see all the formulas and also some of the important concepts now and now is the formula to solve the question that is based on time and distance and everyone knows this formula and also we have learned this formula in the schooling itself right speed is equal to distance divided by time so if you want to calculate distance speed into time so if you want to calculate time distance divided by speed right so it's one of the basic formula and the major formula that we use in the topic time and distance and other than this we have lots of formulas like average speed and also we have formula for stoppage time so we have lots of formulas other than this but this is one of the major formula that we use in the topic time and distance right so first let me discuss what are all the concepts inside this time then distance and also and speed so initially let me discuss about time so when you take this uh, topic time in the topic time and distance uh, first you need to know how to convert minute into hours or minute into seconds right first let me discuss easy things so minute into seconds if it is one minute how many seconds one minute contains 60 seconds so you need to multiply this by 60 got it if you want to convert minutes to seconds you need to multiply by 60 if it is two minute multiply by 60 120 seconds if it is three minute multiply by 60 180 seconds so conversion of minutes to seconds will be into 60 converting seconds to minute will be divided by 60 so friends got it easy but learn this right so minutes to seconds will be into 60 seconds to minutes will be divided by 60 similarly minutes to hours listen carefully most important if it is uh, 60 minute how many hours 
60 minute will be equal to 1 hour so we are dividing this by 60 so converting minutes to hours will be divided by 60 converting hours to minute will be into 60 1 hour how many minutes 60 minutes so conversion minutes to hours will be divided by 60 then hours to minutes will be into 60 and uh, okay just say 1 hour how many seconds we have for 1 hour 1 hour how many seconds right so for 1 hour we have 60 minutes each minute we have 60 seconds so we can say that 1 hour 60 minutes 60 seconds will be 3600 seconds so 1 hour we have 3600 seconds right so got it i think these are these three things are most important to solve a question that is based on this time and another important thing is converting uh, minutes as completely to us that is also important listen carefully if it is four hours 30 minutes think that in a question they have given like this four hours 30 minutes but our target to write this four hours 30 minutes only in terms of us how will you write this four hours 30 minutes you should write complete four hours 30 minutes only in hours how will you convert this you can easily say this as 4.5 hours or 4.50 hours so got it friends converting hours and minutes completely into hours will be 4.50 just for an easy calculation you can take this clock divide this into four sectors right this will be 0 to 100 right got it so this will be 25 and this will be 50 and this will be 75 and this will be 100 for example if they are saying time is 3 hours 15 minutes how will you convert 3 hours 15 minutes completely in terms of hours we know that 3 hours 15 minutes should be taken as 1 by 4th of the part which is 25 so 3.25 hours so got it right so easy way of calculating similarly if you see any question that is based on 5 hours 45 minutes so we have hours and also minutes if you want to convert this into completely hours how will you convert first 5 hours so 5 45 minutes will be 75 so 5.75 hours so you will always see the question that is based on 25 50 and 75 right at the center they won't ask this so mostly 25 or 50 or 75 it is more than enough i think this is enough for the concept time right so we have some of the important thing if you are a beginner so take a note of it how to convert minutes into seconds then uh, minutes into hours then hours into seconds so these are the concepts are important then converting hours and minutes to completely to hours it is easy you don't want to draw this at all. just say if it is four four hours 30 minutes which is four and a half hours so half which is 4.50 so similarly four hours 45 minutes will be 4.75 hours so converting hours and minutes completely to hours so next is distance distance is very easy because inside this uh, category distance we have only to converting kilometer to meter and meter to kilometer right so most probably the question will be based on kilometers or otherwise based on meters and it is easy to convert kilometer to meter one kilometer how many meters thousand meters so converting kilometer to meter will be so easy so remember that one kilometer is equals to thousand meters right so distance it is more than enough you should learn only kilometers and hours that is enough and when we talk about speed it has lots of concepts right so now let me move on to this concept speed and the last concept is speed so when it comes to speed we have only two concepts one is kilometer per hour and meter per second right uh, for example if we take any number 90 kilometers per hour for example if it is 90 kilometers per hour if you want to convert this 90 kilometer per hour into meter per second you need to multiply 5 by 18 so multiply this 90 into 5 by 18 so if you want to convert meter per second into kilometer per hour you need to multiply 18 divided by 5 so got it. for example i can do one number right if it is 90 kilometer per hour if you want to convert this kilometer per hour into meter per second you want to multiply this number by 5 by 18 so multiply 90 into 5 by 18 you can cancel this five times so answer will be 25 meter per second so got it friends if you want to convert kilometer per hour to meter per second multiply by 5 by 18 meter per second to kilometer per hour 18 by 5 so before that everyone knows what is the concept this right 90 kilometer what is the meaning of 90 kilometers per hour 
so we used to see in our speedometers in a bike or otherwise in a car we used in the speedometer while traveling we used to see 90 kilometers per hour we are at a speed of 45 kilometers per hour what is the meaning of it if it is 90 kilometers per hour the meaning is for one hour we will travel 90 kilometer right for we can use another number for but so 60 kilometers per hour 60 kilometer per hour so friends what is the meaning of it 60 kilometer per hour per hour which determines one hour so one hour we can travel 60 kilometers if we are running at a speed of 60 kilometers per hour the meaning is one hour we will cover 60 kilometer distance got it if it is 60 meter per second what is the meaning of it for one second we will cover 60 meters we will travel a distance of 60 meter so there is the difference between kilometer per hour and meter per second so remember that for one hour if we are traveling 60 kilometers what about two hours how much distance we will cover 120 kilometers 1 hour 60 then 2 hour will be 120 3 hour will be 180 4 hour it goes on right in case if they ask a question if you are traveling at a speed of 60 kilometers per hour and if you are traveling for 5 hours right so 5 hours so how much distance will you cover if they ask a question like this we are not kids to calculate 1 hour 60 2 hour 120 3 hour 180 we should not do that we should directly multiply 60 into 5 which is 300 kilometers so we can say that the answer will be 300 kilometers right so in case if they ask a question like this your car speed is 40 kilometers per hour right or otherwise a bike speed is 40 kilometers per hour and if you are traveling for eight hours in the same speed if you are traveling for eight hours what is the total distance you will cover total kilometers that you cover one hour is 40 what about eight hours eight into four will be 320 so we can say that the total distance will be 320 kilometers right it is easy so you can directly multiply r into the speed so next is meter per second so this is important right the conversion is important how to convert this kilometer per hour and meter per second similarly meter per second into kilometer per hour and next is how you need to do this this is also important and the last thing is let me take any number yeah we can take 60 kilometers for example i'm saying 60 kilometers per hour listen carefully for one hour how many kilometers we will travel 60 kilometers what about half an hour one hour if we are traveling 60 kilometers we are covering a distance of 60 kilometers what about half an hour half an hour will be 30 kilometers got it so half an hour will be 30 kilometers what about 15 minutes 15 minutes will be half of this distance which is 15 kilometers so friends got it right 61 hour we are covering a distance of 60 kilometers half an hour will be 30 kilometers and 15 minutes will be half of half an hour will be 15 minutes so half of 30 kilometer will be 15 kilometers so 15 minutes we used to travel 15 kilometer and another important thing is you should learn this basics also 60 think that the car speed is 60 kilometers per hour so one minute how many kilometers will you cover for one minute can you say the answer for this question for one minute what is the answer just think and say we are at a speed car speed one hour we can able to cover 60 kilometers but our target one minute how many kilometers will you cover listen carefully one hour how many minutes we have for one hour just know when the concept time we have seen one hour we have 60 minutes 60 minutes 60 kilometers so one minute will be one kilometer so we can say that for one minute we will cover a distance of one kilometer Friends got it. If it is 120 kilometers per hour, example I am saying 120 kilometers per hour and they are asking if your car speed is 120 kilometers per hour, one minute, what will be your distance coverage? Dash kilometers. What is the answer? Just think and say you should not, you can use a formula, right? If you use a formula, you will get an answer easily. But try to think some of the values in the mind itself, that will be easy, right? So 120 kilometers per hour one hour we are covering a distance of 120 kilometers one hour how many minutes one hour will be 60 minutes 60 minutes we are covering 120 kilometers then we can say that for one minute we will cover two kilometers so we can say that one minute will be two kilometers so if you can't able to understand you can easily write this as 120 kilometers one hour which is 60 minutes got it one hour 120 kilometers so one hour will be 60 minutes so 60 minute 120 kilometers so cancel this one two times so one minute is equals to two kilometers 
if it is 2 minutes 4 kilometer if it is 3 minutes 6 kilometers right and I uh, and you know the meaning of it right just now I have told you if it is 120 kilometers per hour 1 hour we are traveling at a speed of 120 kilometers right we will cover a distance of 120 half an hour 60 what about 15 minutes 30 kilometers right in case if the car speed is 30 kilometers per hour so one hour we will cover a distance of 30 kilometers what about half an hour half an hour we will cover a distance of 15 kilometers 1 5 what about 15 minutes 15 minutes we will cover 7.5 got it so one hour will be 30 half an hour will be 15 and 15 minutes will be half of this 15 kilometer which is 7.5 so i think these are the concepts are most important in this speed and also there are some of the points important points also so let me move on to all those points now and uh, next is uh, these two important concepts are most important in the complete topic time and distance because most of the students will make a mistake on these two areas listen carefully assume that we are driving a car at a speed of 60 kilometers per hour and they are saying that car speed is reduced by 20 kilometers per hour similarly in another case we are driving a car at a speed of 60 kilometers per hour and the word is car speed is reduced to 20 kilometers per hour so difference between both the pointers here reduced by got it and here reduced to two so listen carefully if the car speed is reduced by 20 you need to subtract 20 and 60 so resultant will be 40 kilometers per hour so we can say that now we are at a speed of 40 km per hour friends got it if you are driving a car at 60 km per hour and they are saying the car speed is reduced by 20 or reduced by 30 or reduced by 40 and the word by is most important if it is reduced by then subtract with the original speed 60 km per hour minus 20 km per hour now the car speed will be 40 km per hour similarly case number two if it is 60 kilometers if you are driving a car at 60 km per hour and the word says car speed is reduced to two reduced to 220 km you should not subtract 20 with 60 you should directly say now the car speed is 20 km per hour can you see the difference between both the answer right here word by and here word to most important not to make any mistake if it is reduced to directly the car speed is now changed into 20 if it is reduced by then uh, from the original uh, speed just subtract the given speed so that now the car speed will be 40 kilometers per hour so these two words are most important uh, next let me see some of the important words what is called as relative speed and what you need to do if uh, both the cars travels in the same direction those cases right so finally here we have two important notes so first point two car traveling in an opposite direction and second point two car traveling in the same direction so listen carefully a simple note if two cars traveling in an opposite direction then you should add the speed it, both the car speed should be added so if two cars traveling in the same direction or otherwise a parallel direction so here you should subtract both the car speed so while solving a question we can learn this concept detail but just for uh, just a small note take it as a small note that if two cars running in an opposite direction or proceed towards each other you should add both the car speed if both the cars travels in the same direction you should subtract the speed not only for cars right if it is a cycle or if it is a train or if two men are running in the same direction so whatever be if opposite direction add the speed same direction subtract the speed it is called as a relative speed but while solving a question i can explain you detail right so finally in this video we have just seen the introduction about the topic time and distance so after watching this video just go to my lesson number uh, two three four basics lesson from tomorrow you will start posting all the videos so uh, watch all the basic question try to solve all the basic question first of all then target a medium level then target a toughest question right so thank you so much for watching this video and if you really like it share this video to your friends so that your friends can also learn this bye